So now that we have this detailed view, I want to implement a list view. So a way to see all of the products at once. So if I go to product two, I added a few new products in here so we can actually see a little bit more about those individual products. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if I jump into our views here, we want to create a list view. So this is just like our detail view, but it's slightly different by using something called a list view. And if we look at the Django documentation, we see the Django list view here. Now, what a list view does is it's exactly what it sounds like. It lists out the objects that are associated to whatever is being shown here. So, or, or a model in that case. So if we go back into our views, let's go ahead and import this. Actually, let's copy this import or the location right here. And I'm just gonna import at the top, generic list, and then we'll do import list view. I'm gonna reorder it so it's alphabetical, completely alphabetical with HTTP on top, all right. And then now, same thing as we did before, I'm just gonna paste this below and call this the list view. So product list view now, same type of thing. So let's go ahead and just go off of this right here. So I'm gonna copy this and go into our urls.py and we're gonna create a URL for just slash products. So when they go to just products right here, it shows a list of these products so we're gonna go URL, R, the caret, a dollar sign, and that's it. And then we're gonna do product list view as view, and then we'll say name equals to products, just products completely. And we also wanna import product list view so we can actually use it as view. All right, so if we go back into products and refresh in here, again, template does not exist. And notice it's in that exact same format as we saw before. So let's go ahead and create this product list. So inside of new file for products, we're gonna do product list.html and we're gonna do extends base.html and we'll do block content and we'll do end block. And the context variable is object list. And now if we go back in here and refresh, we see we've got a list of instances that are products. Of course, we added more products off the video, but now we have more products so we can actually list them out and see them. Um, so this is a query set, so we can do all sorts of things here. And you might be wondering at this time, well, how do I know what the context is? Because our view, we have the context here and we actually write it out ourselves when we do function-based views, but in list views, we do not. So there's built-in functionality for this and we can override it or at least see what the context is by overriding the method that goes along with it. And that method is called get context data, and it takes in the argument of self. First of all, we wanna get the current context, so the context that is enabled by default by doing super, so getting the super class of the list view and self, and then we wanna do get context data. There's actually a few more things that we wanna add in here, and that's args and keyword args. We wanna add this just in case that there is arguments or keyword arguments that are being passed through here. So we're gonna paste this in here and then we'll print out context and then finally we'll return context. So by default, this is actually what's gonna be activated when you are running this. And this is overriding the original context data inside of this list view. So let's go ahead and print out this context so we can see the context itself. We refresh and we look in our terminal and this gives us all the different context. So it looks for a paginator, which we don't have. It gives us the context variable of our object list. That's what we used in our template. And then it gives a page object and some, a few other things. And then it also gives product list, which is the model underscore list. So even if you forgot that it in the, in the list here, you could also use product list. So the model name list, and it'll give us the same thing. But let's use object list and we'll do that. So there's other things inside of this view that you can update the context to. So if you wanted the context to have additional variables, you could just add the dictionary here and then you can use those inside of your template, such as now, and let's go ahead and, and make now as a function. To do that, we'll do from django.utils import time zone, and then we'll set the context of now to timezone.now. 
So then inside of our template, I'm going to close out a few of these other templates for now, or a few other files. We'll save the product models. Okay, so back in here, we can add the context of now. And we refresh in here. It gives us now, whatever that now time is, and that's related to the database time zone. So whatever that time zone is, that's the time it will actually give you uh, based on the view function that we just did. But this context allows us to, this get context data allows us to put other things in here that we might wanna have. Now by default, we can also get the user with using request, or user dot, well, we can just use the user itself. And in this case, it's jmitchell3. So these are activated by default as context variables because of, if we go back into our um, settings, we see in our templates, we have this context processor of requ request as well as off. So off is allowing us to use user in here. All right, so that's a little bit about the templates, but now that we've got this product list, let's go ahead and get rid of these things and let's iterate through it. So for object in object list, and we'll do in four, and I'm just gonna put this into a table. So we'll do table class equals to table. And that is a bootstrap class itself. Close off the table and then we'll add a table row. Close off the table row, table column. And for now, I'm just gonna say object.title. And we'll close that off as well. Refresh in here. And now we have a list of our objects. Perfect, that's what we wanna see. If you have any questions on list view, let us know. Um, in the next one, we are actually gonna make it so we can link to our actually view that is corresponding to any detail. All right, so if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.